Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're doing fine. I would like to share this awesome experience with you today because this is uh, the very first painting that I've ever done on Nara black paper. So honestly, I have really, really, really been excited to try using alcohol ink on black support and I really wanted to use Nara's black paper. It looked so awesome and I never used it before. Um, and never painted with these inks on anything black, but I got myself some white ink for mixing just especially for that and uh, I'm so 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 excited to experience this. Now right off the hop, um, something that I notice about this is that um, it's difficult to it's difficult to tell how opaque or transparent the ink is gonna be until it hits the paper like when you're mixing it in your palette, um, because you're diluting it with alcohol, you're adding alcohol to it and it seems thick and creamy and you paint with it onto your paper and then you watch it, you watch the alcohol evaporate out of it in seconds. And in a lot of places it ends up quite light where you had a lot of alcohol in your mix. So I can see that, uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of play room here when it comes to the amount of alcohol in the mix. Like if like what I'm doing here, it's almost all alcohol and just a teeny bit of color. So when it evaporates out, you're just going to see a little bit of like a green film over top of the black paper. That's all. As opposed to if it were all ink where it, and white ink mixed in, whereas it would look like a mid turquoise green. But with mostly alcohol and just a teeny bit of that uh, mix, I get like a wash, which is really, really neat. Another thing that I notice is that I get a little bit more of a layered quality than I do. Um, with ordinary alcohol inks on a white support, like on white narrow paper, that, which is what I use, you notice right off the bat that there is really no layering. As soon as you put more ink on top of dried ink, it reactivates and it mixes with what you've put and it, it just kind of melts in together. And it behaves in the same way on the black substrate with the white ink, but I, I feel like the white, uh, like the particulate in the white somehow stabilizes it a little bit more because I do find places where I'll, I'll pass over and I can see that brush stroke over top of the previous brush stroke and the brush stroke underneath does not seem overly affected. So it's kind of cool. You do get a little bit more of a layered look and uh, I feel like there's a lot that could be done with that texturally. Another thing that I notice is that the white ink does not activate quickly or easily with uh, alcohol like the ordinary just dye based alcohol inks do. The white ink while like if you spray it, it the center of the cauliflower for example if I spray it with alcohol from my spray bottle um, the that white ink will get wet and you will see some little pock marks in it uh, where that ink has activated but the ink does not clear away quickly like or even at all, like uh, ordinary dye-based alcohol ink does. And for me that's something to remember because I really like using my spray bottle for certain effects. I really like using uh, misted alcohol to achieve that uh, snowy or droplet or whatever uh, look in ink and it does not work the same on white ink. The white is too stable. So that's something to remember too. My spray bottle doesn't operate the same on it. I want to draw your attention now to my palette, which um, is a color from a planting pot. It's just a black plastic ring, but uh, I really, really love it for this because I can really set it up like a color wheel and just mix colors along the wheel where they ought to go and reactivate inks as I need to and I think it's going to be a really lovely palette for that and it's amazing how 
using the right palette for a particular kind of painting can really make that kind of painting so much more enjoyable. You know, maybe, maybe we should do a video just on what kind of palette to use for what kind of paint. What do you guys think of that? Anyway, I can only speculate because this is the first time I've used this uh, black plastic ring for um, alcohol ink on black support, but I think it's going to have a bright future and uh, I look forward to using it again. And honestly, as I'm making this video, I have already used this palette once more for a rose painting that I put out uh, just before Valentine's Day. That was my second painting on this narrow black. You see, I've been hanging on to this uh, cauliflower painting for a little while, wanting to make a video with it. And now I thought, oh, you know what I want to do? I really want to talk about black narrow paper because it was so much fun to paint on. There is such a neat quality of the, uh, the creamy textured alcohol ink mixture on the smooth, beautiful black narrow paper. It is so pleasant to paint with. I'd do it even if it didn't look good just because it was amusing. So I highly recommend that you uh, give this paper a shot and maybe you should paint a mysterious cauliflower like I did. Until the next adventure.